Today I'm so pumped. I'm going to teach you something it took me months to practice in just 60 seconds. For real. It's like, go make yourself a cup of coffee, come back here, let's edit the photo together and I promise that by the time your coffee will be ready, your photo will be mm, so good with the most beautiful cinematic look. Are you ready? Intro. My coffee's getting ready. I really want to see if I can make this in one minute. Let's begin. Open your photo with Photoshop, make a copy, click on filter and choose camera raw filter. First things first, adjust the exposure and bring those highlights down. Second step, curves. Set three points on highlights, midtones and shadows. Make a S shape, increasing the midtones and highlights just a little bit and then we're going to darken the shadows area and adding a little bit of that faded cinematic look. Third step, we are going to desaturate both warms and cold tones. Slide to the left to reduce the saturation, just like so. And I'm happy with it, so follows number four, changing the hue. Push those reds towards the oranges, add a tiny bit of yellow to the oranges, greens towards the cyan, aquas and blues to the left, just like this to achieve that nice teal color that we see in the movies. Number five, luminance. Slide to the left to decrease luminance for orange and yellow to caramelize those warm tones. And the same thing we're going to do for aquas and blues. Woohoo, we're almost there. Number six, color grading where the magic happens. Very easy. Easy and quick. Push the midtones toward oranges, shadows towards teal, and highlights towards green. Last but not least, we're going to calibration. Calibrate the red primary hue, adding some more orange tones to it, and setting the shadow stand on green. And bang! There you have it! Look at this before and after. The look is completely different. You can feel the cinematic vibes in this one that we just edited. The timer says that it took a little bit more than one minute. My coffee's ready. Oh, here we go. Mm. A nice dark espresso, zero sugar, very hot just like I love it even if it's so hot here okay so what you just saw it's not a fixed step-by-step -step process you want to practice and you want to play with those hues and saturations and color wheels exposure so it a, a lot depends on what kind of photo you shot depends on what colors are in it how the exposure is, the white balance. You saw more or less how to do it, what's behind it and how to achieve that look. So practice, practice, practice. If you need to edit a last minute, you don't have time, you need to impress someone, your boss or whatever, your client, you know how to do it. You have the tools now. So use them and I'm sure that they're gonna be very helpful and they are going to love your work. If you want to learn more about this, subscribe to the channel, stay creative, stay curious.